Alright guys, welcome back to another video. Not another weekly challenge tutorial, because I'm not doing that anymore. However, here we are on Classic, level 16 Undead Warlock, as you can see. And we are over in Orgrimmar. Now this video, you've probably read the title, it is a guide on how to make money quick and easy on Classic WoW. Because right now, money is very hard to come by at the moment. I've got 1 gold, 84 silver, however, uh, my, my, my money's draining constantly because I'm a Warlock, so I have to pay for not only my own abilities, but also my pet's abilities, which is great. But anyway, I've found a method, which many other people have found, which actually makes getting money actually not too difficult. Besides from just quests, there's actually other methods. Now, just a heads up, just before we begin, there is some requirements. First off, I would recommend being a cloth wearer, because otherwise tailoring and enchanting isn't going to be too useful. And these are the two professions which we're relying on here. Now, as you can see, Enchanting, I've got 56 level, and tailoring, I've got 65. These are pretty good levels to get things started, however, the actual levels you need to be in order for this to work is Enchanting level 15, in order to get the Lesser Magic Wand, which is the first item we're going to be selling. And for tailoring, you're going to have to be Enchanting level 30, so that you can afford to craft the brown linen robe. You'll find out why very shortly. Though I do recommend being 45 in order to craft the linen bag, or even better, Something around 60. That's going to be the number that you're going to need in order to craft the enchanting mats in order to be able to craft the Greater Magic Wand. That might have been a wee bit of a tongue twister, but I'll show you right now what I mean. Because uh, in order to be the Greater Magic Wand, you need 70 enchanting levels, which I can actually, I should be able to reach right now, the skill in order to get it. But you don't need both. You do just need the Lesser Magic Wand. That is the one which you can start making profit off of. So anyway, how does this start? Once you level up, you're going to want to get both these lessons a uh, ASAP. You can get both of these probably in the place, the secondary location that you go to after you finish off with your starter areas. So in Duratar Razor Hill, or for example, as I was an undead, I managed to get mine over in Brill. You'll find just a profession trainer. Or you can come to the capital city, but I'd recommend getting it over and done with in the secondary leveling area. You're going to want to learn enchanting and tailoring, and then you're just going to want to kill mobs. You're just going to get on with questing as usual. Now, what you're going to need to think, begin things is linen cloth, because basically what happens is tailoring feeds off quest items you just get from leveling. Linen cloth, you get it everywhere. Humanoids is what you're going for. So, for example, in Terrace Fall Glades, we've got plenty of options. You've got, you can level from, you can get linen cloth from gnolls, you can get them from zombies, you can get them from... Scarlet Crusaders, you can get them from farm hands. There's plenty of sources of linen cloth when leveling as a low level in Terrace Fall Glades. But the same applies for Duratar, for example. The Kaltiran Stronghold, all the Kaltiran Marines and whatnot, they are humanoids, they will drop it. And also, just an example for the Alliance over in Elwyn Forest, Kobolds, Gnolls, Defias, they all drop linen cloth. Then, what you're going to do is level tailoring up until you're rank 30. You can do this by just crafting bolts of linen cloth. These are a crucial material needed in most patterns you craft from. I'm just going to craft some right now. Basically, you're just going to keep crafting these until you're about... I would say it's about 30. Just keep doing that because you're going to be able to level up with this until you can craft the brown linen robe. Now, with the brown linen robe, what you're going to need in order to craft that... Is as you can see the boat of linen cloth, you need three of those. So you're gonna be able to get quite a those easy. And then coarse thread you can get for 10 copper from general goods sales vendors. Now, for example, one that you can grab is oh there she is right there, Felica over in Ogremar. She's a general trade goods merchant. However, there's one in every single secondary leveling area, as I previously explained. Just buy a bunch of coarse threads from her, they're 10 copper each, very, very cheap. You can get loads of these, just spam buy them. I think, just wait for it to load, should have bought about a million of them or something. Anyway, you're going to need a lot of those. And then you're going to craft the brown linen robes. Now, the reason brown linen robes are so special is because when you disenchant them, as you will see, not only will this level up your enchanting because you're disenchanting greens, because greens is what you're going to go for, but it also gives you the mats, the lesser magic essences, which are the rarer drops which you need for the wands and strange dust. So you're just going to craft a ton of these, just craft as many as you possibly can from leveling, as you can see just like so. 
And as you do that, you will not only level up your enchantment, as I said, but you also get the mats. And you're just going to keep on doing this until, as previously mentioned, you reach about rank 10, 15. The reason for that is because that is when you're able to craft a lesser magic wand, and that is where your big money maker is. So, you're going to just go up to him, train, train from him, already known, as you can see, lesser magic wand, rank 10, costs 50 copper, anyone can afford it, just learn that. And now you're going to be able to craft it. Now, as I said, the materials, they aren't the best. Uh, Lesser Magic Essence is RNG based. Uh, every so often when you disenchant a brown linen robe, there's a chance, or any green, there's a chance you'll get Lesser Magic Essences. You can get these in pops of one, two, three. And from them, you're then going to be able to craft your Lesser Magic ones, like so. You're also going to need some simple wood. Once again, Felica is your go-to woman. She sells... Simple wood as well, and same with all the other general goods vendors. One of those was a very cheap, cost about 50 copper. And there you go, once you've done that, you've got your lesser magic wand. I've got two of these at the moment to sell. Now, where are you going to want to sell these lesser magic wands? Basically, leveling areas. Uh, the best spot for me, as an undead, is Terrace Fall Glades, over in Terrace Fall Glades in Brill. In Brill, what you're going to do is just get these two things. You've got the wand macro here and a second wand macro here, as you can see. This one, you click it, and it yells, want to sell us a magic wand for 10 silver. Uh, 10 silver is the price I would recommend, although you can buy these for 6 silver in the auction house. Most people don't realise that. You're going to be able to sell these for 10 silver easily. So just going to spam that at every so often. Every so often, just put it in yell chat. That will get people's attention. And then, of course, there's also this one. Um, this one's a bit outdated, to be honest. I wouldn't recommend doing this in trade chat. Selling them for 10 silver in trade chat is near impossible because there are people selling it for 7 silver, 6 silver, people doing it for free if you bring them mats. This is why you're going to want to do it in places like Brill because there's a lot less people selling it for these undervalued prices. But as you can see, that's what it looks like. It's the exact same thing. I would recommend personalising it, making it a little bit nicer. People are more likely to buy from you if you've got a nice little message at the end. So get your OP caster weapon, 11.3 DPS, and can be used with your standard weapon. It's a little bit more than just saying want to sell for 10 silver. It's just a little, little extra detail that you can do that will probably be able to get you a few more sales. It's pretty damn handy. Now, that's not the only thing you can craft, of course. Once you reach 70 enchant levels, which I can actually afford right now, I'm just not going to bother crafting it because it is, we're going to be here all day. Crafting does take quite a while. But um, what you're going to do is just uh, get rid of this. Greater Magic Wand, rank 70. This one, again, the materials are quite cheap. Simple wood, easy. As for Greater Magic Essence, you're going to be getting these easily. Just turn three lesser magic essences into a greater one. That's all you got to do, and you've got yourself a Greater Magic Wand. I'd recommend crafting one for yourself first. Same with all tailoring stuff. In fact, I've still got some tailoring goods, I think. Uh, yeah, I've got my own. Uh, well, I might have actually replaced it, but I had my own lesser magic wand. You're just going to get it for yourself first, so you've got that level and advantage, and then you're just going to craft these off. Try sell them. Very, very easy stuff. Greater Magic Wand you're going to be able to sell for, I reckon, about anywhere between 30 silver to 70 silver is what I've seen in the price range. I'm probably going to sell them for 50 silver. I reckon that's probably going to be the best place. And where you're going to want to sell them is either Trade Chat or even better, go to the places like the Crossroads, popular leveling places, which a lot of people are in, or Silver Pine Forest, you've got the Sepulcher. Or for Westfall, you've got Sentinel Hill, that's just some examples. Every single quest in place has got a hub like this, which is really popular, that you can sell these. And you just create a new macro, sell them as much as possible. I've managed to sell about 15 of these Lesser Magic ones so far for 10 silver each. That equates to about 1 gold, 50 silver. That is great, that's a lot of money. That getting a golden classic at this point where I am is really big, obviously, because you're going to be spending so much on learning things. Honestly, just sell these as you go along. I highly recommend it. There's no point in not doing it. You're going to be at such a big advantage from doing this. And yeah, guys, that's all for this video. It's just a quick gold grade. Obviously, it's not much in the long term of thing. If you're watching this and you're at level 50 or something, you're not going to be making money from this. Even the money you do make is going to be inconsequential because your quests are going to be rewarding so much more. But at the lower levels, when you're trying to get every single spell and you're trying to get any little advantage you can get a hold of, this is really big. So anyway guys, that's all for this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe as I do these weekly, well, videos. I was going to say my exact same outro as Fortnite, but I do these videos very often. I plan on getting into classic videos and retail videos now. You should see a channel trailer in the coming days. It was meant to be my first video, but um, 
Well, I wanted to get this out ASAP because as, as the days go on, this guide is going to become less and less valuable as more people are doing it. You're going to want to get it there, out there ASAP. As you can see, this guy's selling it for 5 silver in trade chat. Do not sell them in trade chat. You really want to do it in level on hubs where people are new. They don't know the prices and they really need these because these are huge for casters. I'll see you all till next time. Bye.